I want to tell you about coronavirus because it's going around. There's always been coronaviruses, but for some reason, there is now a very bad coronavirus that's going around. And lots and lots of people have caught it, and lots and lots of more people are going to catch it. And Not us, though. some people die from it. Most people get over it when they get it. And the best thing is not to catch it at all. So we're going to learn how to not catch the coronavirus. And we're going to do it by poem. <laughs> it goes like this. Bad coronavirus. He wants to crawl upon us. And here's the way that we will keep him off. We wash our hands often with soap and warm water. And we cover our mouths when we cough. That's and it. that will reduce your chances of getting a coronavirus, which you don't want to get. <laughs> now, so let's silly. learn that poem, okay? It's very simple. You ready, Zion? Put the spider down. <laughs> All right. Say it with me. Bad coronavirus. <laughs> he wants to crawl upon us. And here's the way that we will keep him off. We will wash our hands often with soap and warm water and cover our mouths when we cough. <laughs> All right, you ready to do it with me? Bad coronavirus. He wants to crawl up. You guys do the hand and motions. here's the way that we will keep him off. We will wash our hands often with soap and warm water and cover our mouths when we cough. <laughs> okay. He's the scariest creature I've got in this poetry book. He's far scarier than this one. Okay, should I stop it now? No, no, keep it going, keep it going. <laughs> far scarier than this one. What is this? A T-Rex. That's a T-Rex. And why, are, why, why is no one afraid of T-Rexes now? <laughs> They're extinct. They're extinct. You're not going to meet a T-Rex except in a museum. And then you'll just meet his bones. You won't meet the T-Rex. But we could do the T-Rex poem. Remember that one? Stop now. Tyrannosaurus was a beast. He had no friends, to say the least. He ruled the ancient out of doors and slaughtered other dinosaurs. And he's also scarier than this one. What's this one? A shark. Is that a shark, Zion? Yeah. All right, this is a great white shark. And you have lots of pet cats and a pet dog and pet goats and rabbits, right? Yep. Do you have a pet shark? No. No. A shark is a pet that you don't want to get. There is nothing less fun than a shark. But I want a baby one. He cannot <laughs> purr. He doesn't have any purr. And he'll never take walks in the park. Instead, he just stares. He intensely prepares and he circles and waits in the dark.
and you bite off your nose and your fingers, fingers and toes. And toes. Cause his bite is much worse than his bark. Okay, and I'm gonna stop that, now. No, 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 not yet, not yet. <laughs> oh, I'm and the coronavirus is also much more scary than this one. What's this one? Zion? Medusa. Is that a Medusa? Why are Medusas not scary anymore? Because she turned to stone. He'll turn you to stone. It's a if she. you look at the face of Medusa, she'll turn you to stone. But Perseus killed the last Medusa thousands of years ago. You know how he did it? With a mirror. He used his shield for a mirror. And instead of looking at the Medusa, he looked in his shield at her reflection and in the other hand, he had a sword. Mm -hmm. And what do you think he did with the sword? He cut off her head. Cut off her head. And buried it in the ground. And oh, we can do the Medusa poem. And then now, Medusa's a mean, nasty crone. You'd be wise to leave her alone. She has snakes in her hair. You better beware. Her looks can turn children to stone. Wait, only children? Nope. You won't be turned to stone? Would you like to be a stone statue? That wouldn't be much fun.